Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and this road that we travel out to where we live from in town, uh, there I noticed that there was a sign looked like some kind of construction uh, beginning, and so I thought, well, I'm going to ride my e-bike out there and see what it says, because uh, it looks to me like maybe they're going to start building houses on this old farm field. So, and if that's the case, that's a lot closer to home than... Uh, in a previous video, which I'll put a link to, uh, I showed how the, the farm field about a mile further towards town is, is planned to, uh, to have new houses. So if you look out there, you can see some, there's some uh, surveying stakes. And then this here is telling us that they're going to do something to keep the dust down while they're, while they're uh, building the new structures. And so I went back home, got my uh, Mavic Air 2, stuck it in my backpack. And now we're going to go uh, to the other side of that field and uh, fly up over it and take a look at uh, what's going on in that field. And then also I'll be telling you a story as we go. Uh, in previous videos I've been talking about my experiences with a sailboat <clears throat> and I'll continue with that. So here we come in to where I'm going to take off. I've taken off from here, actually in the previous movie that I was talking about, where I took videos of, uh, of the, the field adjacent to this further, further west. So anyway, so this is where I took off before, and I'll take off from here again, and we'll fly out over the field and see what's going on, because there is a, a piece of heavy machinery out there uh, working in that field. So here we go. We're going to take off the Mavic Air 2 and take a look at things. Okay, first we're gonna swivel around here, so don't get dizzy, because we're gonna do that pretty fast, and fly out over the field, and uh, it looks to me like there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of surveying sticks. <laughs> Uh, and my, I had my grandson over here, and there was one out there by the by the road where we just took off, and uh, he pulled it up, <laughs> and I told him, no, you don't do that. So he tried to put it back in, but it wouldn't go in, so he laid it down. But you can see, <clears throat> they've got this thing figured out. They're going to be building lots of houses here, uh, and this old farm field is, uh, has been sold, and it's going to become a uh, an HOA uh bunch of houses. So as we fly around, I'll, can, I'll start my story and try to get it done before the video is over. How's that sound? Well, I, I got my own sailboat, and uh, in the last video, I think I told you, I know I told you that I got, I, it, was, it cost a lot, so I tried to pinch on the expenses of the, uh, of the outboard auxiliary motor, and I got a Sea King from Sears, <laughs> and that was a big mistake. But, uh, and I, I pointed out in my last video that first of all, it was gutless and uh, didn't push the boat very fast up in, in current if you're going up towards the, uh, towards the dam. And then also, <clears throat> uh, it, we went into a, uh, we, we, I took some friends sailing and well, we, we went up to a beach and then when we went to back out, it, it went into reverse, but it wouldn't come out. So we had to back the boat all the way down to where everybody was launching. You can watch the video if you want. So here, uh, this guy is his earth remover. What they're going to do is they're going to uh, dig a, a, a huge pond, or they're going to create a huge pond there. Uh, to put to, They'll line the bottom with plastic, and then they'll put water in it. And then they'll pump the water out of the pond and into a spray truck like what you see parked down there. And then wherever they're uh, working and making dust, well, then they'll they'll spray down the dirt. So you can see he's, uh, he's dumping the dirt there, and then uh, we'll watch him as he works, but he's dumping the dirt there, and then it goes back down in the hole and scrapes up some more. And there will be a mound of dirt uh, where he's just pulling away from. Well, so uh, the story goes like this. <clears throat> My wife and I had been up to Lions Ferry State Park uh, before, and uh, I think we even camped there, but anyway, 
So we went up on, uh, well, I don't remember what day of the week it was anyway, and we, we, uh, can't, we went into that little cove up there uh, uh, and uh, anchored there instead of at the park because we just like, you know, we had a nice boat. We didn't want to bounce into any other boats and stuff. So we're up there. And then, you know, we went to bed, and the wind was blowing all night long, just blowing and blowing and blowing. And, of course, when the, when the boat is anchored, well, the anchor keeps the boat from, from going anywhere. But uh, the, the way the anchor works is uh, it's got two sharp edges on it, and they just kept digging deeper and deeper and deeper into the silt and mud. And so in the morning, uh, when it's time to go, I got up on the bow, and I couldn't even hardly pull up that rope because it was buried. And so I spent about a half an hour pulling and pulling and pulling to get a muddy, mud-covered uh, anchor line out of the water and up onto the front deck. And then I carried it around, all the muddy stuff and everything, and threw it in the cab. And uh, I decided we're going to sail out of here. And we had to sail down that channel. Well, that channel uh, wasn't all that narrow, and the wind was blowing straight down it. So if you know anything about sailing, we had to tack, which means we had to go back and forth across the channel and making slight headway. And as it turned out, the wind was blowing really too hard to sail. And uh, so what happened is one time when we were tacking, the, the wind caught the sail and just it tipped the boat now, Aquarius 23 is self-riding, so if it gets tipped over sideways, it comes back up. And also, um, it, uh, it's, uh, it, it won't sink unless you crack the hull or something. So uh, we turned, and the, the, the uh, boat tipped over to its side. And I remember looking down into the, into the uh, uh, galley area and uh, up towards the front, and uh, we had a, an ice box that was sitting on a shelf that was our refrigerator type of thing and it tipped over and fell out and landed uh, on the the boat was laying on its side and it fell up and it was and I can remember seeing milk from a cardboard milk carton uh, which busted open running down the inside on the wall of the inside of the cab and uh, so anyway we got it turned up and then just barely missed running into the edge to the rocks along the edge so we went back into the into the uh, cove and uh, hooked up the motor the sea king motor and, <clears throat> and so uh, then we motored out and of course because of the wind well the the we came out onto uh, uh, what's called uh, the snake river and it was real rough and bouncy and stormy and water splashing over us and everything and so we're, and we're headed home. We're headed, uh, uh, I guess, to the west. And so we're headed home, and all of a sudden, uh, the motor quit. The Sea King motor quit. And I didn't have the sails up ready to go. Everything was a mess. And uh, so I tried starting it and tried starting it. Finally, I got it started, and I motored home. And so <clears throat> uh, that was the last time that I took the Sea King motor out because... It was, it was deadly. And I went out and I spent a little bit more money and got a new motor for my boat. Now this field right here is uh, the one from the previous video that I made. Somebody had put a, a, a plan that they had, they had distributed on Facebook and my wife uh, uh, copied it off for me. And <clears throat> that's... Uh, that's what we thought that you know that construction's quite a ways from home and now that arrow that shows you that little area down there in the left hand corner is that area that we're looking at right there and so that was the plan that they set out well that's far from home so that's no big thing and there it is again that's what they told us they were going to be doing and so we weren't too concerned until now the field we're flying over uh, is that's the field right there and so it's just, it's moving closer and closer to our house. And so <clears throat> uh, it's going to get more and more crowded as time goes by. I mean, you can't do anything about that. And while I was looking, while I was uh, facing this direction, I thought I'd show you. My uh, grandson has a motor uh, scooter, electric scooter, and I have an electric bike. So he likes to ride over to that park and play on those playthings underneath those shelters. And uh, so anyway... Um, 
that's uh, <laughs> this field that we're over is going to be turned into a housing development and uh, probably an HOA type of thing. And let's see if we can figure out how far is that from my house. So as we turn around here and we head uh, towards where where we live, actually it's not my house, it's my son's house, and uh, we live in the trailer in the backyard. So uh, we'll get over here real close. And by the way, you notice all these, uh, look at all the places where pe they're going to be building more houses and more houses. And the road is already crowded getting in and out of this area. And uh, so we're going to have a lot, of, a lot of new strange people plus much more crowded road. Now, so I don't know if you've watched any of my videos or not, but maybe you can spot it. Uh, if you uh, spot it, it's right about there. That's our fifth wheel trailer. And so it's actually <clears throat> from where I took the video, it's actually about a mile and a half to get there. So uh, that's, you know, that's pretty close. So um, it's going to get more and more populated. But fortunately, we have a, a, an acre and a quarter. And uh, that's nice enough. Now, this area right here, believe it or not, when my son was looking at this, the property that we were living on, uh, this was all farm field. And that was about a year and a half ago. And in the let and over the year past year and a half, it's become a uh, housing development. So I want to thank you for watching my video. I'll have more sailing stories in the future. And uh, God bless.